<laughs> Welcome back to the channel guys and we are on episode 2 of our Tasting Cultures series. Today's episode we're going to do British food. British classics? British classics. Um, so this is a pre-warning. There are some items on this video. There's the one particular item on this video that's quite offensive. So I think I'm going to bleep out any time that we reference to it, but you'll understand with the packaging later down the line what we're talking about. So the way it's going to work is we're going to start with snacks and then move on to mains and then hopefully go on to sweet desserts at the end. So we're going to start off with snacks. I don't know the name of them. Yeah. You need to say because I don't. I don't know. I, I am lost now. Skips, right? I'm sure a lot of people have tried this in the UK. It's a melty crisp. Um, Alina's never tried them. No. So I'm not even sure if they're quintessentially British, but it says it's they made. In, it's made in Leicester, so we'll try it. I mean, I've well, tried who are, it. Who are we to say we just bought in the British shop? Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> It's the smell is not the best. <laughs> it's prawn cocktail flavour. <laughs> I have eight meta crisps. <laughs> you don't like them? They're so well. They're like nothing. You put them in the mouth and they're suddenly gone. Yeah, that's the um I guess that's the trick with that them. Is the main uh, signature mark. Yeah, it, it melts in your mouth. Um, it's like um it's like fake prawn cracker. So if you like prawn crackers, you will like it. Yeah, I guess so. Um, yeah, it's nice. I like it. Um, in terms of taste, probably a 6 or 7 out of 10. Texture, again, it's the main thing is that it dissolves in your mouth. It so, depends what you like. Yeah. Because um, uh, mm, I wouldn't call it a crisp. <laughs> it's, a, it's a sponge. It's a sponge. A suck up sponge. Yeah. I don't know. I like them. Um, overall, I would rate them at probably 6 out of 10. It's not the best crisps, but yeah, what would you rate them out of 10? It's a no for me. <laughs> <laughs> You're not, not going to rate them at all. Um, what's, the, what's the benchmark? 10 out of 10. Well, the best crisps I ate is, of course, 10. These are 3 in my scale. So, so. Though I don't know what's one for me. I need to think about it. Probably not crisps. <laughs> Probably something what's uh, named crisp, but... Uh, Maybe seaweed crisps. You don't like seaweed crisps. Yes, that would be number one. Zero, minus. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay, <laughs> moving on to the next snacks. <laughs> it's here. Um, <laughs> lemon slices. So, Mr. Kipling's lemon layered slices. Um, Destruction. I'm guessing it's a sponge cake with... And I won't say that I opened them before. <laughs> yeah, Alina cheated and ate one before, so she's tried them before this video. But the second time is even better. If you like lemon flavoured cake... Lemon drizzle? drizzle? Well, well, I guess. Yeah, lemon drizzle. Then probably good. I'd probably, again, low five, high four. I'm not a big fan of lemon cake. Nice taste, but too sweet. Yeah, it's very sweet. Because it's got like a layer of um, mm. icing on top. Mm -hmm. Again, <laughs> I'm not sure if this is quintessentially British snacks, but... Well, I don't know any other place in the world where um, mint and chocolate is so popular as here. I see. And uh, let's remember, today is 30 degrees and it's slightly... <laughs> yeah, so today is one of the hottest days in the UK to date. And I don't think Alina's tried... Uh, you've tried Aero before, no? No, not with the... So not with the mint. This is um, aerated chocolate flavoured chocolate bar. It's green in the middle. Represents mint, I guess. So I like it. <coughs> so sweet. <coughs> really? Chocolate sweet? <laughs> No. Need to cleansing my palate again. <laughs> mm. 
So, out of ten? Five. Five. Again. It's so sweet and I don't like meat and chocolate. Maybe a part of ice cream. But it needs to be nice as well. I'd say probably a high six. Ooh, ooh, well. So, this is Eccles Cake. Uh, apparently it contains pure butter. Um, made, it says here in Manchester, so this is Lanc Lancaster, uh, Lancashire Eccles Cake. What's inside of it? Raisins? No, well, it's not pure butter what I in the middle. <laughs> oh look, preheat oven to say warm. Oh. It means ah, it's like a it's a bun with a what's the morning bun? With a cinnamon. And oh like hot cross bun. Yeah. It's like squished together Ugh. very Concentrated hot cross bun in one little circle. <laughs> it's like a short bread, uh, short crust pastry um, with a lot of sweet raisins, raisins inside. inside. So I don't like raisins. So it's a low three for me. Um. I'm thinking what I would add to this. A glass of milk, which is not sweet. That would be nice. Or tea without sugar. That's alright. I said concentrate and cut press ball. So what would you rate it? Um, five? Yeah, low three. <laughs> Jesus, how many Don't like raisins. raisins. How many raisins is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's so many raisins. We're gonna get some milk because this next one is super uh, quick milk magic sippers. Um, I don't think this again is very British, but it is um, something that Alina's never tried. I've tried this a few times. When this first this technology came out first, it was when Nesquik did it, uh, I believe. Unless I could be wrong. I so, th so this is what it looks like. It's little pearls of chocolate in the middle of a plastic straw. So you just call it old pearl? <laughs> no, you drink the milk through the straw. There's not holes big enough. They, they, trust me, the holes are big, like you. What do you want me to make with the hot chocolate or? No, just get a glass of milk. We've got our milk for this. This is going to be a first experience for Alina. Don't worry, it doesn't fall out. You just need to drink the milk through the straw. <laughs> what is it meant to do? Uh, it's meant to make the milk taste... Uh, like chocolate. Like chocolate. There are different flavours. Um, you can have, I believe, banana and also strawberry. So, what do you think? What I want is to cut and take get the balls out, but... You, you want to cut and get the balls out? <laughs> I don't know. Does it need to be... You just need to drink it slowly, I think. You, don't, you, you shouldn't be, like, going hell for leather for it. Mm, yes, <laughs> just like that. <laughs> so what do you think? Mm, wait, do I need to try again? There's like a sl slight chocolate taste. Maybe you're not sucking hard enough. <laughs> Maybe. Um, it's kind of similar to like air up technology, but it's actually bits of chocolate in there. Um, it's not meant to make the milk taste absolutely like chocolate, but it's just hints of chocolate anyway. So what do you think? Five, because I couldn't get the chocolate flavour I wanted. Okay, uh, <laughs> that's fine. Um, again, it's probably, unless you don't like the like drinking milk straight, it probably helps you drink a lot of milk. 
but yeah, I probably yeah low six. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> Maybe it needs to stand in the middle. Yeah, what does it say on the instructions? It just says... I don't know. It doesn't melt it fast says, enough. Do not cut the straw. Place straw in a glass of cold milk. Sip okay. thoroughly through straw and enjoy. Mm, yeah. You might get disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Is that all I will say? Okay. Um, on to the next item. We are doing... Horlix. It is a apparently an instant hot multi goodness. Just add water. So it is a multi drink. So malted, like, it's like Maltesers. Uh, uh, no, um, and my first impression, just a comment from my side. When I made it, it, uh, it smelled like Molson Coors in Burton. Like a brewing company. Yeah, it has lots of barley in it, I think. <laughs> So I have no idea what to expect. Yeah. So and on what occasions do you drink this? Uh... The main ingredient is wheat, dried skimmed milk, malted barley, and dry whey. So. Uh, and w when do you fancy that? When uh, you can't drink beer at all? <laughs> I think... Oh, it's hot. <laughs> uh, it's typically seen as an old person drink. And usually you have this before you go to bed. <laughs> that is so hot. <laughs> that's like Return back to this later. That's like three times boiled hot water. You take it in the in the in the food. Let's do it like old people do. You don't get the real flavour of it though. Yeah, it's kind of like it has the aftertaste of like Maltesers. In the evening, go to Burton up on Trent. The same. <laughs> Just without with you opening your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I will give her another spoon for this. <laughs> do, do you not like it? This is not for me, and I can't give rating as currently. Yeah, I mean, there are other multi drinks like Ovaltine, and um, for me, I'm a very, I'm, a, I'm a avid fan of a hot chocolate. So, this is completely um, the opposite, basically. Unless you want, you know, on a scale, I think it's very much uh, malted drinks to like really strong coffee, and in the middle is like hot chocolate. This is for me anyway. You saying that's a coffee replacement? Uh no, it helps you go well, to sleep. So like, in, terms of, in terms of in terms of in terms of what you use it for, you you would use this to like calm down calm and yourself sleep. Down. And then you would then have coffee to stay awake. Mm. And then hot chocolate's kind of set middle. in the middle. So that's where I would place uh, it. Well, I mean, probably like a low four. I, I like the hot if it wasn't boiling hot, I would probably like it more, but well, that's hot water for you, yes. <laughs> Added to the <them>, Mr. Button. <laughs> I yes. will uh, go for that. I will let you explain in comments when on what occasions do you want to drink this. Cause, uh, yeah, just before bed. And it's really for old people. Um, so Maybe it doesn't offend. Maybe young people like this as well. Uh, I mean, I don't know anyone. Ageist. I mean, I don't know anyone who... Drinks it at who all drinks, together. Who drinks this. I have never, I never, I never ever had any person talking about this. There you go. <laughs> Next one. Okay, so we are now moving on to um, full meals. Let's return Question to mark. this lovely drink. Right? So, next one is. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> this is going to be the accompany. Oh. This is going to be the accompaniment for uh, both of the following food items that we try. And this is instant mash. Um, for those people who don't know, um, it's very gelatinous. And f if you've never had or prepared instant mash before, it comes in a bag of just flaky dried potato. And it has a really weird smell. But it kind of like just... Yeah, I don't want to make it for water. Honestly. 
Uh, alongside this, we're going to have <laughs> um, pie in a tin? Question mark. Uh, the brand is Frey Bentos. Ben am I saying that right? I don't know. Um, and this one is oh, steak and nice kidney. Side. And that's what we're going to try. Because it looks... It, it looks like wallpaper paste. I might have made it wrong, but this is from the instructions. And it doesn't look very appetizing. It's very clear, opaque. So what were you... Oh, fuck. Oh. 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 It's like the worst part of ev every baby food. I mean, oh, that's that's rough. That's rough to eat. That, like, I mean, you can't even chew it. Like, I mean, mashed potato you can't chew, but this one, this is. Maybe we need to add some salt. But it doesn't say. Like, it's it it says it's ready to go. Like, it's no, instant. not sure if it will help the situation, but no. Uh... Okay, so alongside that, we're gonna have. It's quite hot. Um, pie in a tin. So I've never had this, but Alina apparently has had it I before. Haven't. So it's just um, pastry, um, pie crust pastry, and some filling inside. So what do you think? Definitely takes away that horrible mash taste. <laughs> it's good. I, I, bet, I bet there is better pies, but this is uh, uh, good enough. It's not super, very plain, it's like a, just a bright uh, amount of flavour. Yeah, it's got a, I was, I was thinking that the filling wouldn't be so, so high in quality. I mean, it's not the highest quality filling, but I thought it would be more um, like gravy. It's more than anything else. No, yeah, like a cheap, mm. like a, not meat. <laughs> mm. If you like steak and kidney pie, um, it's probably not the best pie. If we compare it to a Greg's bakery pie, um, it's probably on par. Um, but I wouldn't be comfortable eating that in public <laughs> as I would be eating at Greg's. <laughs> I think it comes in a beautiful bowl and uh, there's nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> I mean, imagine... Whipping that out in public, <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> eating it. Sorry, boys, I've got to. I've just got to eat my pie. <laughs> it was my um, pocket pie. Yeah. Right. So I've warned you about this product, and this this here, I'm gonna editing Charles will add the the logo here, and this is what it's called. Um. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to bleep that out, but yes. No, you cannot. It's a part of the culture, <laughs> and uh, even its most offensive food you ever. Well, at least I have ever ate, but uh, yeah, it's still a uh, food. So it comes frozen, and it comes in this kind of takeaway tin, and I believe it's just similar to pork sausages in gravy so i would think that for those filipinos watching it will be like a um burger steak situation which is essentially just like a burger patty with gravy so what do you think <laughs> have it with the mash <laughs> <laughs> nothing <laughs> um you have a strong taste i mean there is a lot of spices in it the patty is uh, very mushy, very mushy. You Give me a moment. <laughs> Let's see what you think first. And I will just enjoy myself <laughs> for now. So the, f the expectation of l like the harder texture of sausage is not there. It's no. very much um, more, mushy. more be more mushy like Alina said but it's not the worst flavor it's not the best but like I said it's very much like a burger steak for those Filipinos and for those 
non-Filipinos out there who wants to try a burger steak, hit up Jolly Bee. They do a fantastic burger steak. Basically, it's the best. I mean, well, I can't comment because I haven't been there. Well, we'll have to go to the Jolly Bee next time. <laughs> I'm not trying. I'm not trying the mashed potato because that's. That was my first and my last time when I eat since then mashed potato. Yeah, so I would rate that probably a high five. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, or a low six. It's not the best, but I mean, if you're starving, it, you'd probably enjoy it. Mm. But was it cheap? It was like I think pounds, original three pounds. I think original story about this is that it's uh, leftovers of all the meats and then it's for cheap, cheaper so people can eat it. But these days is uh, like a it's, I mean delicatessen. I mean it's it it probably will serve like three people. So, it it's like a pound a portion basically. From all the patties I have ever made and ate, I will give it a three. A three, <laughs> okay. Yes. Right, I think that's all of the mains. Well, kind of. Kind of. <clears throat> so I'm not looking forward to the next part of this video because now it's preserved oh. stuff. So this is Piccadilly. Not like the train station. Okay, did it. <laughs> <laughs> so on the jar it says it's a mustard Piccadilly with cauliflower, onions and gherkins. I have never had this in my life, and I don't know what to have it with, so we're just going to go raw dog and eat it straight. Neither do I, have I, so uh, cheers. You have to get, you have to get the, the no, there's, there's chunks in there, go on. I like the nine glass chunks. Going back to my cleansing my palate. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus Christ. Maybe it's nice, but there's so much vinegar in it, you can't <coughs> keep your waist straight. Oh. Here, this helps, trust me. Now I can feel the chocolate taste of the straw, so <laughs> I'm <all> good. <laughs> Oh, that's that's rough. Um, so, what, what's your suggestion? What you could you? Uh, I mean, I would like a hot dog. Yes, maybe. Probably. But how many hot dogs do you need to eat? <laughs> I mean, if it was like more pureed, it would be it would be like a good hot dog accompaniment. But yeah, that's a lot. A lot of a, a lot of mustard in there. Like mustardy. the aftertaste is really mustardy, but because of the 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 vinegar, vinegar and the pickle and the onions in there as well, it's it's a potent flavour. I love pickles and I can drink pickle juice, but Jesus, this was yeah. But that's how we go to another lovely vinegary stuff. So this is silver skinned onions. Such a strong girl. Isn't it? So we didn't rate the uh, the picky lily. I would rate that like a, a low three. <coughs> Fuck it. <coughs> acid, a acid reflux tablets, please. <laughs> acid. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it not good? My apologies, but <laughs> fucking hell. Why can't be nice pickles? Why is it so, uh... <coughs> oh, oh my god. <sighs> oh, yeah. Jesus. I mean, um, what did you want to do, right? Sorry, I, uh, I, I, my brain had been flushed with <laughs> onion. Yeah, the pickle lily, I'd, I'd rate a low three. That is like a low one. I don't... 
Um, hmm. I'm, I'm sure I've seen people like eating this whilst they've been drinking, but I think that's hmm. just to cleanse the palate from like being so drunk. And I think when you are hungover, then you like to drink the juice. Yeah, I mean, but it's, a, it's not. A it's, lot of like in hindsight, it's not the worst flavor of Cleanse. both the pickle of this onion or the onion flavor because I think they both have been subsided by each other. But if it's it's back to back pickles, basically, yeah. All right. I will choose the onions over the piccadilly, <laughs> piccadilly. and then I will. <laughs> Pick a lily. Oh. <laughs> I thought they were called pick. Anyway. Like the train station. <laughs> yeah, <that's, laughs> I thought that's maybe what it is. We... No, no. Right. Anyway, so uh, out of two, one oh. for onions and two for the two for the piccadilly. Pick a lily. <laughs> no, they will say pick a oh. Right, last pickled thing. Jesus Christ, we will have uh, so many aces. Oh. Acid reflux. Yeah. So this is um, pickled eggs. Oh my god, we have more vinegar. Wish us luck! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this stinks! That's like extremely bad wine. Like, when you have no money and you just... Oh. <coughs> I don't know if I want to try now. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I'm scared now. <laughs> Why? Why? <coughs> it's so good. I'm, I'm going to save it for later. <laughs> it's so bad. <coughs> <laughs> Oh. I don't think if I'm not finished chewing this. <laughs> yeah, have some milk. <laughs> well, I don't want to. <laughs> oh man, that. <laughs> no, don't spit it out. No. <coughs> right. <laughs> now we've gathered ourselves. Go on. You can do it. <coughs> <laughs> Uh, God. Oh, it's the aftertaste as well. That's the <laughs> so good. I'm done with British food. Right. Okay. <laughs> We've got one last item to try. <laughs> and that. That's dessert. So we'll be back in a second. We need to get it out of the fridge. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, to end this uh, video, for this episode anyway, we are going to end this with something nicer. Um, this is Angel Delight. So we the packaging should be here. Um, and essentially it is um, like a mousse. Um, the way you prepare it is you get some milk, you whisk out the powder, and then you let it set in the fridge. This one's butterscotch flavor. So what do you think? Well, the only thing would be worse than the previous things is if it would be made from vinegar, <laughs> which is not, so it's nice. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a mousse dessert. Um, and it's relatively cheap. And it's a good palate cleanser to finish this video. <laughs> oh what a crime is those eggs. <laughs> That's a crime. Hmm. 
That's a crime. Yes. If you eat pickle legs, kudos to you, but it's not for me. <laughs> no comment. Um, yeah, so that wraps up this episode of trying tasting cultures. Um, it's a working title. Um, if you have any suggestions on any other British foods that we should try, we'll get your suggestions in the comment section. So comment down below what you think we should try next. Um, yeah. Please don't mention anything with a vinegar in it. Thanks. <laughs> um, yes. Like always, thanks for so thanks thanks for so much. Um, thanks so much for <laughs> the vinegar's got me drunk. Uh, thanks so much for supporting this channel, and uh, we will see you in the next one. Bye. Uh, <laughs> fucking adult sex, Jesus. <laughs>